Um, Kay, could you do a YouTube trend for the class? No, I cannot. What up? I'm Kay, I'm 19, and I never learned how to do fucking YouTube trends on time. Hey guys, so as usual, I'm super late to trends. Have I done trends on this channel? I sure don't know. I don't pay attention. I suck at YouTube. <laughs> but uh, my cousin said she really liked seeing these videos, so I was like, I don't want to do it. And she was like, please, they're funny. And I was like, okay, okay. So now it's been like two weeks since this trends hour started and uh, it's pretty dead by now and I didn't know what YouTuber to do be and uh and eventually <laughs> eventually I was like you know what I haven't seen an Evelina Forcell tutorial I tried this video yet why use words in order am I right so I was like I'll do one Evelina Forsell, if you don't know, is a super awesome Swedish makeup YouTuber who was in the NYX Face Awards, and I believe she won. I'll just cut this part out if it's wrong. Anyway, she's super awesome. Um, I love how she takes makeup that's not typically everyday makeup, and she just does whatever the hell she wants, and it's so great, and I love it. Originally, the video I wanted to do from her was this little two-tone lip video because it's super awesome, and then I realized I don't have a hot pink lipstick, nor a bright orange lipstick, so, uh... If I did that video, it would be fairly different. I could have done, like, the inverted colors. I mean, her hair's orange, mine is blue. I could just invert all the colors. Anyways. Uh, so I decided I'd do her latest makeup tutorial from the point of which I am filming this, because, as all of them are, it's super awesome, and I have enough colors similar to what she uses, so... Let's just uh, roll into it. Watch it. All right, so I already have my foundation done, and then, so we will right away go in with concealer. And today I'm gonna use the All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Fair Warm from Urban Decay. Before I powder, I will go in with the Contour Stick in Fawn from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is a cream contour, and I will cream contour. <laughs> Okay, so I already have my foundation and concealer on because I didn't realize she was going to be putting concealer on too because in my head, I don't know, when you do foundation you just kind of do concealer. So I already did my concealer. I didn't even have the same one she did so it double doesn't matter. Uh, and now she's doing a cream contour. I have no cream contours so I'm going to go ahead, powder my face, and then use a powder contour and we're off to a great start, aren't we? Oh my god. I hope this challenge isn't dependent on having the same items as the person you're following because I suck. And I will blend it out with the new Neva Cosmetics brushes, or brush, I should say. So I'm just gonna be using this BH Cosmetics brush and my NYX powder contour kit. However, I am gonna take note, Evelina uses a cool tone color that is much darker, and I know whenever I do contour I'm real scared of doing it extra dark. Because I don't know if that's like good or not, you know? Like I don't I don't know how to contour, guys. Ugh. I'm gonna start off with this one and see how it looks. I feel like I usually contour with this one, so it won't be that dark. But if it isn't, then we'll mix it with the extra dark one. On camera that shows up so dark! Maybe that's why her contour looks so dark to me, because in person this isn't bad. Well, maybe it is. Okay, yeah, we'll just stick with this one cool tone color and contour in all the same places. Evelina's a savage and uses the same brush she contoured her whole face with on her nose, so you know, we're doing it. We're doing it. I ain't scared. Just what if I just cheat and pinch the brush and just? Uh, ah, <laughs> what have I done? Oh no! This is fine. <laughs> Everything looks so much more dramatic in the viewfinder. 
And then for bronzer and blush, I will use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in Rosewood for bronzer. And then for blush, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Peachy Love. I'm gonna go in with the orange shade called Miami. I have neither. Where's my blush? Excuse me, one blush I own. You're being rude, I need you. Here you are. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the Park Ave Princess one from Tarte. And for blush, I'm going to take this one from The Balm in full swing. Fun fact, this is the only blush I have, and this is one of like two bronzers that I have. And I've gotten all three of the aforementioned things from Ipsy Bags. I never bronzed and I never blushed. I suck at it. Cool, let's get started. That looks so dark on camera. Pourquoi? Why hast thou forsaken me? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, uh. My window's open. The neighbors are gonna fight me. I'm gonna go in with the orange shade called Miami with this new Real Techniques blush brush. I'm gonna go on to the one color in this with this brush I have. Stop. Is this allowed? But this is why I don't wear blush. It looks bad. <laughs> I'm just being a dramatic crybaby. And then for highlight, I'm gonna I have that the oh, no, glow no, kit no, no, from no. Anastasia Brown. I have Hills. Moonchild. And Most of the colors in there are dupes, so which one are you using, girl? I bet I can dupe it. Let's see. I think I will go in with a little bit of Lyra and Luna. So Lyra seems to be a gold, the one color that's not really in Moonchild. So I'm just gonna... Okay, bye. Ooh, that is cute. Maybe I should just go for this. Yeah, I will just go with this shade. Okay, so she's just going for the gold color. Okay, um, I think I have a color similar to that. <laughs> Almost through this. I have a little Urban Decay single. This is Sin from their 24-hour... Uh, highlighter collection, I believe it's called. So I'm gonna go in with this one and see how well it works. If not, I'll snoop around in my drawer and see if I can't find another one. <laughs> Almost dropped it again. <laughs> Why am I like this? I feel like I'm being extra ridiculous this video because I do feel like I'm not doing this justice. Also, I don't know. I love Evelina though. She's probably my favorite YouTuber right now to be honest. And if not the favorite, one of my like top three. I've actually been like uh, tagging her in some pictures. Well, one picture I just did the, the double. I did the two different colored lip look. And she actually commented on it and I don't know, she's just so sweet and I like her a lot. She's also a cruelty-free only YouTuber, which I love. It's so great. Her and Jay Kissa are the only two I know for sure that are cruelty-free only. And I love them so much. And I decided to do Evelina's. And if it wasn't her, it was gonna be Jay Kissa. But anyways, yeah. Highlight. Fortnite. Let me go see what my dog's barking about. I'm not happy with my brows at all. But, <laughs> but let's just go in with the Never Cosmetics brow gel. She's also a goofball. It's also another reason I love her. Okay, I have like zero brow products aside from this one BH Cosmetics eyebrow palette. So, uh, I'm just gonna take the darkest colors in here. It has four gels and then eight powders. So I'm just gonna take these two and give myself brows in a similar shape to Evelina's. I'm trying here, guys. I'm just a mess. <clears throat> okay, I feel like her brows are like pretty flat across the bottom and arched on top. And mine have an arch at the bottom. So I'm just gonna kind of fill in this spot. Yeah. I suck at brows. Well, let me do this. I'm terrified. 
Uh, here. I had to keep my head straight and just. She's like a little downward at the tails. Good. Good. I think we kind of have the shape. Perfect. Yay. No. Uh, no. Oh, no. That's definitely not right. Uh, why have you forsaken me, brows? I look like a caveman. Why does she look so good? Ah! God. Martha! How do people do this? Oh my god. Just, just get up there, you losers. Okay, I feel like a kid took a black crayon and tried to give herself eyebrows. These just look like cartoons on my face. And now for eyeshadow, I will go in with the Pocket Candy eyeshadow palette from Lime Crime. Don't have that palette. Is this shade called Pink Yelly? Okay, so I'm actually going to take my next Ultimate Brights palette and take like a little mix of these two colors and go in with a really light hand and hope that it mimics her color. There is nothing we can't do. Mine is already a little more pigmented. This is fine. This is fine. Mine's a little darker, but hey. This is fine. Okay, Evelina's is a lot more subtle so far. This is fine. Then I will go in with this a darker shade called Baby Cake and use it just to deepen the eye look. So I will use it mostly like in the outer corner and crease. Okay, she's teak. Yeah, wow, her pink is a lot lighter than mine. Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna use a red ochre from the Modern Renaissance palette. And then the middle shade called Lemonade on the middle of my eye and also in the inner corner. Okay, so that color kind of looks like a limey yellow soft gold. Let me look. To get the color Evelina uses, I'm going to take this green from a Japanese palette my friend gave me. Thank you, Trang. And then I'm gonna put this like creamy gold on top of it. <laughs> I dropped it. Whoops, I wasn't recording. I've already used this uh, lip liner actually in my waterline on this side. I will do it now on this. Fun fact, I don't have a red lip liner, but I do have a red eyeliner. You guys see those holes? That's because my cat likes to chew on my eyeliners. My big hand gets in the way when I record, sorry. And now for eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper. I'm gonna do my winged liner and then I'm gonna do some deep. The only Kat Von D liner I have is navy, so I'm just gonna use my usual LA Splash Architect liner that I love to pieces. Also, fun fact, I'm not crazy about the Kat Von D eyeliner. I might have just gotten a bad one. I don't know, wasn't crazy. Okay, so now I have to try to do the Evelina wing, which is very different from the wing I do. Like mine, I feel like connects from the very tip to the thing, but hers is a nice like whoosh. Mine is like whoosh. Hers is whoosh. So uh, let's try this. I will also be doing the band first before the wing. Oh wait, I always do that. Shit. Normally I'm not scared of eyeliner, but right now I'm terrified. And then hers is like, oh my God. Oh shoot. Fear. Fear. Ah! I goofed it. Oh, 
Okay, that's as close as I'm gonna be getting Javelinas. <laughs> I got too relaxed and this band came out a lot thicker. Just go back and change it. That's as close as we're getting. I'm actually gonna take a different liquid liner just because for the X's I'm gonna need a stiffer one so I'm gonna take my Ciate London Fierce and Flawless. Oh, I was totally out of frame doing it, wasn't I? Oh no! Sorry guys. I did it. Yes! And then for some lashes, and this is my favorite vegan, cruelty-free lash brand called Rouge and Rogue. I use them every day in every video. I love them. These are the style Miss Furry. Surprise, surprise, I don't have those lashes and uh, I don't have many similar to them. So I'm just gonna go on with my House of Lashes Noir Fairy in black and uh, hope for the best. Ah, that's the wrong eye, isn't it? I have like a fear of cutting lashes because I'm really scared to just like mess it up and then, you know, just ruin a perfectly good pair of lashes. I've grown up broken afraid. And also mascara from Nude Sticks and this is the, excuse me, neighbors, k -Not. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is the Lash Lengthening Mascara. Lately, my favorite has been the Urban Decay Perversion one, so we'll do that. This video has so much yelling. Fear. Now it's time for lips. No. Pause this video and comment how many lipsticks you think I go through until I pick one. I'm gonna say seven. But I will try out the plushies <laughs> lipstick from Lime Prime. I support Prime you, Because same. Body. Honestly, whenever I don't know what color to pick, I go with black. I'm sad. She is a lipstick is that they are very lightweight, so they are not full coverage. Uh, so I think I will have to go in with it a few times. I think the closest color I'm gonna have is Potions by Anastasia Beverly Hill. Are we done? Did we do it? So I guess this is the finished look. Um, actually really like this. Actually wait, there's one more thing I gotta do. <laughs> I tried. So I guess this is the finished look. Um, I actually really like the lipstick. It looks very, very grungy right now, um, which I like. Uh, it's not a gray shade, it's not a brown shade, it's not a black shade. It's Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to me for more shenanigans, as well as catch me on Instagram, because a lot of shenanigans happen there as well. I could get used to this. Evelina, if you happen to see this, thank you for being an awesome makeup artist and YouTuber and super cool. Love you and sorry to everyone who has to see this two weeks after the trend has happened. <laughs> Anyways guys, have a good one. Catch you in the next video. Wow. <laughs> now that I see it all together, I am not upset with the brows. Five minutes. Oh.